Okie dokie, you guys. If you guys don't have your camera on, if you guys could turn it on, if you're present, that would be awesome. I love to see your guys' faces and know that you're um, here and present with us. For those of you that don't know, my name is Amber Parker and I'm the field liaison um, with It Works. And we're, excuse me, while um, I am just in the process of healing. Um, so I, if I have a little cough or a scratch in my throat, I'm so, so, so sorry, you guys. It's been crazy. My husband was sick and then my son was sick and I'm like, I am healthy. We are not, we have no time for this. Um, so I want to make sure that tonight we talk all things pop-up. But for, for those of you that are new, um, I have a YouTube. If you just search Amber Parker, it should pop up. Um, and if somebody wants to drop the link here, you guys can subscribe to those. So all this whole year, um, on the first Wednesday of the month, we do a new distributor zoom and they're all different. They're always different. We're going to do different things, different ways to build your business, um, different ideas, tips, tricks, things like that. And so we want to make sure that you guys get plugged in, whether you're new or not welcome. And if you are new with us, just drop how long you've been in the company with us. Um, we want to make sure that you guys feel welcome and you know that you guys have plenty of people on your side to help you. Wow, two days and on a new distributor Zoom. Welcome, welcome. This is so exciting. Thanks, babe. Um, three days, three days. Wow, this is so cool. Three weeks, one month. This is so exciting. So if you go to my YouTube page, there's plenty of um, trainings, different things, like I said, on how to build your business, different rules, tips, tricks, all the jazz on my YouTube and you guys can spend all day long for 12 days watching uh, some YouTubes and some, some old Zooms uh, that will help you with your business as well, okay? So uh, with that being said too, in the comments, if you guys could just post where you're at, where you're from, where you live. Um, I love seeing where we're tuning in from and engage, okay? Um, so this is not gonna be about uh, the logistics of, of starting the business. Um, but I do have YouTubes on that of in your first month, what do you do in your first 30 days? What do we do, um, you know, throughout the month and how do you run and become a successful business? So, um, a little bit about me for those of you, because you are new is I am an ambassador diamond. And also, like I said, field liaison. So I've been in the company over seven years and I started for just a few hundred dollars. I was one of those people that swore up and down. I would never do network marketing. Um, I just really was completely uneducated about it and not just about the industry. Um, because really the, the industry is incredible, but I found home here with it works and, um, by no means are we the perfect company, but we want to be the perfect company for you. And if you're willing to just stay consistent with this, give it a year, every single day, work your business, work your mind. Um, and you will be successful, um, when you put in the work. And that's ultimately what we want to talk about tonight is the work. And we just, launched a new way, which, um, for me is how I went ambassador in two and a half years. Uh, I was a stylist before and now me and my husband both do this full time and we get to homeschool our kids. And so we're a full-time family and we get to spend all the days together. Uh, and it's really, really fun. So, but I never thought that it, that was possible. Genuinely. I, I really didn't. Um, again, for two or $300, I was like, that'd be nice if it, if it really paid out. Um, but I was willing to put in the work. I was willing to do the personal and professional development every single day, uh, which means audibles, books, YouTubes, um, anything Google free. I mean, there's so much out there that's just free to grow and expand my mindset to become a CEO instead of an employee. And, uh, that's what I did the first few weeks of my business was I just dove into study. Uh, how do I run a business? What do, you know, what do I do? How do I become successful? How do I create relationships? How do I uh, create discipline? How do I, all the things, how do I, and I immediately took off. I went Ruby in 45 days, uh, diamond just three months later in November. Uh, so right around this holiday season where a lot of people are like, wow, you know, I'm so busy with everything else, but really right now is the best time to build. Um, because we're getting ready to go into new year's, which is uh, weight loss, um, central, 
you know, everyone wants to lose weight after the holidays. And so it's our crazy busy time of the year. And if, if you don't prepare your mind right now, it's going to be hard to catch back up in January. So um, we just launched a new way of building the business. And I'm really excited because again, this is what I, what I did uh, to go ambassador and really to promote super, super quick is I booked what we call a uh, belly to belly sip and samples. You're going to hear a variety of these words used multiple different ways, but really they're the same thing. So whether you're hearing belly to belly, whether you're hearing face to face or uh, wrap parties, sip and samples, try it, or pop-up shops, all in all, it's the same thing, okay? Um, so don't get confused if we say one or the other, they're really all the same thing. And what that means is you're just in front of people instead of behind a screen. And um, how many of you work this business mainly through social media and how many of you love connecting face to face with friends or maybe and drop in the chat um, maybe you would love to do belly to belly but you're scared or you're you know you don't have the confidence or you feel like you don't have the time maybe you've got 16 freaking kids running around at your feet you know whatever it is for you um i love actual genuine connection i mean i love sitting behind a screen but what I would love more was to, it would be to get in front of you um, in your city, in your town and do pop-up shops with you. And, um, and I have, have, have absolutely loved the new pop-up uh, that, that we just launched. So we're gonna talk tonight about um, how to use social media and how to do pop-up shops, okay? So with pop-up shops, this is going to be a free or very cheap slash affordable event that you can do um, for your uh, business. And I have a couple YouTubes already out there. Um, I actually videoed myself going into a pop-up shop and into a boutique asking if we can set up a pop-up shop. So you guys get the real, the raw, the whole conversation um, of what she said. And it's about two minutes on my YouTube. So if you guys want to find that out. But the best thing that I would recommend doing is let's start from the basics. Um, do you need to go to Amazon and buy the whole shebang of what corporate has on their pop-up shop list? No, uh, you don't. You can find things from your home, but you want to keep it very sleek, very chic, and very professional, okay? And this means uh, clean, right? Like up-to-date, modern, um, not so much bold, out there, too crazy, messy, too much stuff on, on the tables. That's like not what we want to do. Um, a confused mind says no. And so if your pop-up shop is just crazy, it's crazy. And we don't, we don't want to really um, do that. So look for top leaders who have shared their results and what their tables look like. That is a great way to find out what do I want mine to look like? Um, but you can use your at-home stuff, okay? The one thing that you're going to invest in this business is product. Now, why? Because you sell it right? So we're going to talk real quick on ADBV auto shipment. And if you run an auto shipment, I want you to drop the fire emoji in the chat. And the importance of the auto ship. Now, an auto ship is basically an investment into your business every single month. It is not required. It's highly recommended. And um, if you were to be on my team and you wanted some extra coaching, I'm going to first look and say, okay, are you investing into the business? Because if you're stuck, chances are you're not trusting that if you go and spend a hundred dollars monthly on product that you're going to use and that you're going to sell, you don't believe you're going to be successful. Okay. Now this is, this is where I want to train your mindset to be a little bit different. All right. Every single month I use product right? Drop your favorite product in the chat. What you use, what you love. Mine is the coffee hands down. I won't go a day without it. Um, the days that if I'm traveling and I forget it, I'm so mad. And I literally would overnight somebody to send me a coffee. Like it's ne it's only happened a handful of times or less, but that's because I learned, I just don't function very well without that coffee. Um, and I love, love, love the coffee. And if you don't drink coffee, the BFF is the same thing. Okay. <laughs> excuse me. Um, so whether, whatever product you're going to invest in, you want to use that. You can also sell that. That's also what I'm going to be posting about because people trust people. They don't trust advertisement. Okay. They're not going to trust when you start this business and you throw up, Hey, buy this. It's great. What does it feel like? Oh, I don't know. I've never tried it. What does it taste like? Couldn't tell you. So Sarah says it tastes like chocolate. 
I don't really know though, because I haven't spent any more money because I'm not willing to put myself out there. Does that make sense? We want to be investing in your business every single month. Now, my mindset when I first started was, if I don't spend money, I'm never going to make money. We know that this is a business and it, whether you want to buy 16 products or one product, you get to be on some kind of product if you want to be successful. Now, again, not mandatory, not required. Um, you can definitely run a business. Um, it's just going to be very slow, but recommended, highly recommended that you get on one to three products that you are going to love that you're going to use for 90 days and you're going to post your results. Okay. Now, with that being said, opening that up on the first through the fifth is going to be crucial for your business. If you want to be a, a top leader, if you want to be very successful, do, does Walmart wait until the 25th to open their business for that month? No. Right. Um, you know, they're actually open 24 hours, but, um, you know, in, in the business mindset, when you open your business, meaning I've invested, I've bought inventory, I've bought the products that I want to use that I can post about that people can see that I'm using them personally, and I'm not just pulling Google images, that's going to make you successful. So job well done to everyone who's run an auto shipment. And for anyone who's not, I'm going to challenge you to just stretch yourself and I know for me, in a book called Build to Last, if you guys haven't listened to it, it's a really, really, really incredible book um, that you guys can get. It's called Build to Last. It talks about if you were to open up this business and invest $100,000 into this business, which is the average for a brick and mortar company, okay, um, you would be working your tail off every single day to make sure that you weren't out $100,000. And so for me, $100, is, you know, it's a lot of money. It's nowhere near a hundred thousand, but in my mind, I want to keep that mindset that this hundred dollars is a hundred thousand dollars to me. And am I being proactive and investing first? And then knowing, you know, when, when I first started, our lights were shut off the day before I delivered my son. And so a hundred dollars for me, I didn't have a hundred dollars. I was like, well, be nice if I worked my business every day. Not a big deal. No, it was like, I have to, it's do or it's die. And it's a non-negotiable for me. And I get to work my business. So I make sure to get that hundred dollars back plus more. Um, and so that's kind of the mindset that, that I want you guys to be in and, and just understand that investing in the company is going to be crucial. Now, as far as pop-up shops, every single, we don't, we don't have to carry inventory. Okay. And I, I wouldn't recommend that you go out and buy a bunch of product for a pop-up shop. Um, I had a couple girls who did it and they're like, Hey, do you have a sample of reds, a sample of greens, collagen and coffee? Um, and whatever products you have on hand, use those products at the pop-up shop and also highly recommended is going to be the products that you're using. If you haven't touched the reds, probably shouldn't have those at your pop-up shop until you try one. So that way, you know, people say, what does it taste like? You're like, um, it tastes like beets. No, it tastes like raspberry jello. Would you guys agree? Like that stuff is delicious. Or the greens, what does it taste like? Um, berry. Okay. Um, and, and sometimes people think it tastes a little different. So again, trying the products is, is, is a good idea before you do a pop-up, but um, and, and, and work together with, with your teams when you set up the pop-up shops, but auto ship on that auto ship every month, put a new product on there. That's how I learned about the products. I didn't have money to, um, you know, dive in and, and, and do, uh, you know, $400 in a month to just order everything. But every month I bought a product to use and a product to sell. And that paid for my auto shipment and I was free and clear. I was no money out. And so now I do the coffee four bags of coffee I sell two and I use two, right? To pay for my auto shipment and I, I, I don't spend a penny because if I sell the two bags, those two bags paid for my two bags that I used as well, okay? So whether you're gonna use the greens, again, every one month you'll order the reds, one month you'll order the greens, one month you'll order the coffee. And that will help you <clears throat> build up your way to having a pop-up shop. Now you don't need all those products. Like I said, reach out to your leader. I'm sure they'll give you a red and a greens and a coffee. Um, but those are kind of the main focal points that we want to have at the pop-up shop is the samples that you can try. And, um, so what you're going to do is you're going to, um, order the products on your auto shipment and then, um, or even in your new distributor kit, you're going to get some of those samples start there. 
right? Um, and once you have those products um, or not, or find them or borrow them or do whatever with them, and even if you don't have, um, you just need one bottle to sample, one for display, good to go, okay? Um, and so now that you've invested in the company and you've got your products and you're set up on auto shipment every single month, how do you get out and about? So for me, when I started, I, we didn't have what's called pop-up shops or a try it bar. We didn't really have a lot of products that you could try right away besides the wrap and defining gel. And so I sell the wraps for $25. If you haven't tried them, try them. You'll have a result in 45 minutes, average nine out of 10 do. Um, and the wrap is our flagship product. But now that we have all these other sample products, it's an incredible way for Christmas cash. It's a great way for you to make immediate cash um, and also be able to sample them. So when, I, um, when we launched this new way, I was so excited because I can sit at a pop-up shop for one to four hours and execute and get customers, wrap cash, and leads what would normally take me about 30 days on social media. Okay. D did you guys hear that right? Um, I can be at a pop-up shop in front of people and I will get customers cash leads in four hours of what would take me 30 days on social media on average. Okay. So this past weekend, small business Saturday, we went to the local grocery store and we set up a little shop outside. It was freezing 30 degrees. I don't know what I was thinking but it was worth it and I'm gonna do what's required. And I'm gonna also do what most people aren't willing to do so I can get the results that other people aren't willing to get, okay? So we set up a pop-up shop completely free. The grocery store said, yes, absolutely, no worries, just come, no big deal. And in four hours, we got two customers over 100 BV and we got 10 leads, one really strong potential distributor and over $100 in cash. Now, if you guys want that kind of result, drop a heart in the chat, like four hours, you guys, on a Saturday. That was it. All from a pop-up shop in person. Now, how many hours would it take you to get two customers over a hundred BV, a hundred dollars in cash and 10 leads, really strong leads days, right? On social media. Now you need social media. It's incredible. You must do it. Use all platforms. But this is also a great way for you to get out and find those connections, not people you know. None of these people we knew, okay? But now we know them. Now we added them to our social media. Now they're watching us now, right? Now I have a whole new market of people that I met at the grocery store. So when and how, and then we're going to open it up to some questions. Okay. So how did I book these pop-up shops? I love scheduling days where I can get out of my house and get with my team and we go around their town and we go into shops. Now here's why I prefer, and I'm not saying it's the only way, but I prefer to go to the actual shop versus message or email or text or call. Number one, they can see that I'm real. Number two, they can see my passion versus a text message. There's no emotion in that, okay? Um, now this might be getting you out of your comfort zone just a little bit, and that's what you wanna do. You wanna stretch, right? So you're gonna stutter, you're gonna fail, you're gonna be like, uh, I don't actually know the answer plenty of times, okay? But, it is so easy and simple. Um, so we try and schedule a few days a week to get out and go to businesses and just ask if we can book it. Not for that day, but for future in the month, okay? And so um, I, I go into the shops and I will say something along the lines of this. Um, hey, Megan, uh, you know, I know you own this little boutique. It's so cute. And we, we are a local uh, business owners as well, small business owners. And we were just wondering if we could collaborate. Okay, that's the keyword. I'm just wondering if we could collaborate together. We will tag you on social media, which is where social media comes in, guys. We will tag you on social media. We'll bring our friends and um, we will be able to set up a little pop-up shop, do a giveaway and collaborate with you and bring our friends to your uh, boutique. Does that sound like something you guys are interested in? Yes. Oh my gosh. You guys, nobody told us no. We did one, we went to seven shops in about an hour and a half 
in my town and nobody said no. Nobody. They all were so excited, grateful, and like, yes, when can you come in? Oh my gosh, can you come tomorrow? We would love to. We're brand new. We don't need, we're not even on Google Maps yet. We need all the customers we can get. Okay. And so again, going on my YouTube, I do have that recording of one of the pop up, one of the boutiques I went to. But um, it's super easy, super simple. Do not ask any questions that or do not answer any questions that aren't not asked. Okay. So um, a lot of times some of the places that I found were like, yeah, this is my manager's number emailer. Okay. No big deal. Um, but we've done this for like the last three weeks is just set up a day or two to get out and about, take your kids with you. Okay. Um, go with friends, but book that book, the pop-up shops in person. You'll book way more than you will calling. Um, again, your eye contact is your contract. So people want to see you and it just goes a lot smoother if you're face to face, be dressed very professionally, like you're going into an interview. Okay. Um, so however you would show up to an interview is how you're going to show up because you have to sell yourself to them to say our pop-up shop's the best. It matches your boutique salon, etc. It's very sleek and chic. Um, here's a picture of what it's going to look like. Super simple. We'll be in and out in no time. When's your busiest time? So asking them questions, okay? Is there any questions on how to or what to say or maybe you've gotten an objection um, when you've booked some pop-up shops, but is there any questions? Um, I'm going to try and check the chat, so drop them in the chat real quick. Okay, any business or should we target any, any business? Um, dental offices, lawyer offices, um, boutiques, salons. I have found that local businesses are the best, like mom and pop shops, restaurants, those kind of things, just because they, they love to support other small businesses. Um, I've had good, good luck with salons and also some really rude ones. So be willing and open to that too. Um, some people just don't want to collaborate and they're, you know, you're going to get those people that will tell you, no, you will. Um, but you keep going. Okay. All right. Let's see. Any questions about how to book them or what to say? I'm worried about space and me getting too loud when I get excited. Well, don't get too loud and excited, but that's a good thing. Okay. Awesome. So once you have the pop-up shop booked, the best thing after that is to create a graphic and go social with it. So we did one um, at a tanning salon this weekend as well. And I created the graphic. She did little gift bags. So I took a picture of those and I made a graphic with it. And I just said, come join us at Oasis Tan uh, from 10 to 7 on Saturday. And the first 10 guests will be entered to win X, whatever that is, okay? Um, but she loved that. Then they shared it. So then I had their followers following me, vice versa. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to be active on social media throughout the week, making my celery, my coffee, my reds, my greens, blah, blah, blah. You guys get the gist, okay? Um, so you're going to make a graphic, and then you're going to post that graphic every day up until the day of the event, all right, and tag the location. That's what you told them you would do, right? We will collaborate together. Um, and so then you can also do a giveaway for all of your followers to follow Oasis Tan to be entered to win your, whatever your team's doing for that month or whatever your, your gift you're giving. Okay. You don't have to go get elaborate gifts or anything like that. Just use whatever's at, at, at home. All right. Um, at the pop-up shop, you want to make sure that you are not sitting down a ton. Um, depending on obviously you can't stand for nine, 10 hours. I mean, I guess you could, but, um, you want to be excited. You want to say hi to people as they're walking by we have free samples. You get to bring them to you. People aren't just going to stop. Um, and so when we were at this grocery store, people walking in and out, in and out, in and out all day long. And every single one, I, I would just say, hey, you guys, welcome. We've got free samples. If you, if you would like to try one, they are free. We have more than coffee. Um, and, and I was just talking to the air. And as people walked by, they saw me and some were like, ew, no. And some were like, oh my gosh, hey, are you freezing? And I'm like, yes, it's 30 degrees, duh, right? So 
create that conversation with them. Um, don't be shy, but also don't be greedy or entitled thinking people are going to come to you. Um, you. This is your job to go out there and, and pull those, those people towards you. Okay. So, um, so again, at the pop-up shop, you're going to, you guys can find pictures online. Um, again, I did another live uh, a few weeks ago that's on my YouTube that just kind of talks more about the pop-up shops. But my goal for, uh, for everyone is, is to create a, a goal of how many you want to do in a month. All right. Now, our team is doing 100 collectively uh, pop-up shops. So whether that's one person's doing 10, another's doing two, another one's going to do one. Collectively, I want my team to be doing 100 a month. Um, and so what is your goal? What is, you know, uh, Izzy's goal? What is Sabrina's goal? What's Alicia's goal? What's Bree's goal? What is your goal? How many pop-up shops do you want to do in a month? And then I want you guys to, when, once you're done, and I want you to drop it in the chat. Okay, how many do you want to do in a month? How many pop-up shops? Maybe you're like, I just want to try one. Um, but don't stop at just one, you guys. They're all going to be different. Some may be duds. Some will be really, really, really hot and popping. Um, but you've got to give it longer than just one time. All right. Um, but drop that in the chat. And then once you guys do that, feel free to tag me, Mark, Pam, Cammie, uh, Mike, and let us know when those are done or as you're doing them. All right. Um, and so after the pop-up shop, um, we did an entry and a giveaway. And so if people just left their name and number, um, and what product they wanted to win, we entered them to win. So then after you're done with the pop-up shop comes follow-up and follow-up is going to be crucial. Um, there's fortune in the follow-up. And so, uh, writing their name and phone number. And all we told them was you're going to receive a text. If we don't hear back from you, like you're not going to, we're not going to sell your number to the devil. Okay. Um, so don't worry about all the spam calls or anything like that. And, um, and then text them and say, it was so great meeting you today. Um, I'm really excited to enter you into our giveaway for December um, or our whatever giveaway. Um, and I'm really, I'm also looking for more people to try the coffee if that's what they wanted to try for three months. And then you can get them as a customer once they've met you as well. Okay. And then you can also say, add me on social media, which is uh, in your e-suite. You're going to have all these pre-printed um, flyers and that you can edit. So if you haven't gone into your e-suite, which is your back office, that's your username and your password then um, you can go in there and search under documents um, the wording and the pictures for a five by seven that fit into frames. I bought some at the dollar store. Okay. Um, and you, they can add you on social media and also be entered, which again, we'll, we'll watch that following as well. Okay. All right. Let me check out this chat to a week. Yes. How do you keep organized with all the contacts? Becky, yes. I love that. She said you can add them to connect. So um, in connect, you guys, first things first, if you are new, there's an app called connect, download it. And then people say, how do I use connect? That's the first question we always get. I don't know how to use connect. If you click on training, there's training videos on how to use connect. So watch those training videos and that will teach you all the things on how to add contacts, how to save them, all that jazz. It's all on there. My husband did the videos. They're great. Um, and it's a great way to just keep your business in one place really organized. All right. Um, so I love that three. I want to try at least one, five K guys. Don't play small, play big, right? Um, uh, quite a few, but I don't have anyone to go with me. Do them yourself. We've had a couple people do one. Um, obviously if you can get two people, that would be great because you're, you might be slammed. Um, but do a little smaller one by yourself. See how it goes. We, we did a boutique and one girl was there and it, it was great. She was, she was awesome. Okay. Three, five, 10, at least five. Um, yeah, more do your interact with people's posts. I love this. You guys. Yes. Love the chat. Okay. Um, no, I don't feel silly. No questions silly, you guys. And this is why we do these, you know, these, these training videos is so we can educate you. There's so much information. And when you start, you're like, where do I begin? Go to connect, watch the training videos. They'll have day one, day two, day three, how to use connect. All that jazz is right on there. And they're just a few minutes. So again, scheduling some time in throughout the, the day to really uh, have that, you know, education on, on the products and those kinds of things are, are pretty, pretty simple. But again, if you don't know where to go, you don't know where to go. 
Um, and then again, on my YouTube, I do have other training videos on connect on products on whatever. Um, but I do want to make sure that you guys also know about the products. Carla Burns, if you guys want to go follow her, Carla, C-A-R, Carla, okay, uh, with a C, Burns, B-U-R-N-S. She does a Fit Tip Tuesday on Tuesdays. She goes live about the products and the education and the ingredients and, and all that fun stuff on her Facebook. So you guys do have access to that as well. Um, so after the follow-up, you guys are um, going to give a thank you on social media to that business as well. Um, go above and beyond because they opened up their home slash space to you to let you in for your business and they deserve a shout out. Um, and then give thanks to all the people who signed up, give thanks to tell us, share about your cash that you earned that day. What are you doing with the cash? And then um, with your leads, Again, making sure that you keep them either on a piece of paper, in a notebook, on your Connect app, however you want to do it, um, will be will be great. And those people are going to be your future customers and distributors. So pop-up shops are really fun, you guys. They're an easy, again, easy, easy, easy way to build your business. It gets you off of social media and out into the field. And you can connect really anywhere and everywhere. And, and so for 2020, I'm kind of thinking, where are the places that I want to travel to? Where do I want to build? I'm going to start following and building relationships with the local owners in that city already now before I travel there. That way, when I travel there, I have connections and I can set them up um, and I can, you know, expand my market into California, Nevada, Arizona, wherever you want to, you want to travel to. Okay. Any questions on pop-up shops? Any questions? Do you think it's good if I don't want to do it by myself to bring my husband? Yeah, as long as he's positive, right? And excited. Sure, absolutely. Yes, there's a script. How do you keep the coffee warm? Ooh, this is a good deal. So when we were outside, we had access to an extension cord, and I spent $20 on um, an electric kettle, and it holds five liters. It's massive. It was 20 bucks in the coffee section. And it's electric, it's automatic, and you, I just poured water into it, and we sold coffee. Uh, so we had coffee to carry, and we had got little cups and um, with lids, like coffee cups from like the disposable center uh, by like paper plates and plastic cups and that kind of stuff. And we sold coffee for five bucks. We made it for them right there, and we just used that water. We had a frother and poured some creamer in there, and they could care, uh, pay cash and carry their coffee home with them to that day. And that was cool. We made, uh, you know, tons of, tons of cash. And that was a really great way for people to try the coffee. We did it with BFF and greens as well, um, as like a hot cocoa and it was really good. Um, yes. And so, um, keep, don't have, I, we only had three sample cups poured at a time because, um, it does settle even like the hydrate or the collagen it does settle. And so we only poured three cups at a time. That way it wasn't sitting for too long. Um, but they only need a tiny bit. And so then we just stirred the cups if it did settle, but the only ones that really settle are the greens. Um, and so keep those in the bottle and just shake them up and pour them as, as they go. Um, how much did you charge when you offered the coffee and the greens together? We didn't actually do the coffee and the greens together. Um, but I would still only do five bucks, um, for coffee and greens, a scoop of greens, but we just did five bucks. Normally I sell them for eight. So any samples that I do, whether it's one stick of keto energy, one hydrate, one collagen, one reds, one greens, any of our sample packs, I sell for $8 or five for 25. Now, yes, I understand that I only pay about a dollar for each of those. Um, and that's where the profit margin is huge because I don't want it to be affordable for them. I want them to sign up as a customer. And I have a whole uh, Zoom training on, on samples and all that jazz. Um, but I do always sell one for eight or five for 25. And so, um, yes, I sell one single sample for $8, whether that's coffee, one coffee, $8, one collagen, $8, one reds, $8, one greens, $8. Okay. Um, because again, I don't want to be a dealer. I don't want people to be like, oh, it's only two bucks. Hey, Amber, I need another one. Hey, Amber, I need another one because they can't, they don't want to pay the low customer price. I don't want that to be affordable and pleasing to them. Um, I want them to be, to, uh, you know, get a full month supply of coffee for 78 bucks, you know, versus five for 25 right now. Right. Um, 
So it's, it's way more affordable if they do it, uh, as a customer or five for 25, cause then I make more money, you know? So, um, and again, mix and match. We had a plenty of people where they chose a BFF, a coffee, a reds, a green, and a hydrate. And it was 25 bucks. And we had just little cellophane bags we got from the dollar store that they put those in or just hand it to them and they can walk away. It's only five packets. They can carry that. So you don't need to spend a lot of money, but it's a great opportunity for you to make quick cash, immediately get your money back on your auto shipment um, and just focus on, on selling those samples. And then um, again, on social media, all throughout the week, I will post um, you know, me doing my coffee and saying, I've got samples ready and ready to go. Normally they're $8, today they're five. Or um, you know, normally they're eight dollars, but I'm doing five for twenty-five today. And so I want people to either buy more or spend as a customer. So um that's kind of, of what I what I do. So again, one for eight or five for twenty-five. And I sell one for eight all a lot, actually. It's pretty weird, but I do. Um people will do it. They will, if they don't have twenty-five bucks, they'll spend one on eight to make sure before they commit. And um and then if you need to ship that out or whatever, it's like a dollar fifty to ship. So I'm still making a way good margin on, on that profit. Um, but samples are a great way at, at pop-up shops to let people cash and carry. Um, and we accepted Square or credit card or whatever. So, okay. Any other questions about pop-up shop, you guys? And then I'm excited to um, let you guys get off here and go book pop-up shops. Again, tag me. My name is Amber Parker on uh, Facebook. Please don't send me a friend request. I'm maxed out on friends, but you are absolutely welcome to add me. All my stuff is public or follow me. I'm sorry. Uh, follow me on Facebook. Um, you have full access to everything. All my stuff's always public. So um, if you follow me, it's just like being my friend, but I am maxed out on friends. So i um, extremely sorry for that. but um, is there a better way to make a big display or just sit there with a small table with some products on it or will a big, um, yeah, a confused mind says no. So, uh, don't do too big of shops. And honestly, boutiques don't have the room. They have minimal, minimal, uh, areas. So even in the tanning salon, like we had a small little card table and it was like packed. So, um, take that into consideration too. There's a lot of times we don't even use all the stuff at the pop-up shop because we just don't have the space for it. Good question. All right, you guys, this will be uploaded um, hopefully to my YouTube within the next few days. Um, we want to make sure that we are really focusing on pop-up shops through December. And it's a great way to, again, with Christmas cash people shopping out there, um, a great way for you to expand your business and be successful. So um, don't forget, tag Cami, Mark, Mike, Pam, and myself in any of your pop-up shops. And you never know what we'll do as far as drawings and fun things like that. Um, if you need ideas, search team pages for that as well. And we will see you guys uh, the first Wednesday of every month. I do a new distributor training um, with this same Zoom code. So put a reminder in your phone, tell your teams, and we will see you guys in January 2020. I cannot wait to, uh, to celebrate the new year and what we have coming at, at conference. So we will see you guys at conference. Have a good night.